Hey guys, today I have a tip for you regarding the Helltide event. If you don't know what the Helltide is, a quick recap for you. Uh, you can see the map of Diablo 4 on my screen right now. And for Helltide, periodically, roughly every second hour, uh, some of the regions of the map will turn into a red color, even darker and bloodier red than the PvP area. And this is the zone that is the Helltide zone. It will last for about one hour. Then, like I said, it will there will be no Helltide anywhere on the map for an hour. And then it will return again for another hour somewhere else on the map. In these Helltide zones, uh, you can uh, farm monsters or run events uh, in order to... Uh, receive a currency and this currency you can use to open chests that are distributed uh, in this area and these chests uh, actually have the item slot which they will give you an item for in their name. The chests are depicted on the in-game map by roughly this icon and uh, that way they are pretty easy to spot to spot and usually it will be you will receive uh, rings or amulets or um, boots or helmets or one hand weapons and so on and so forth no sorry uh, any kind of weapon it's called weaponry in that case chest of weaponry or something like that and um, <clears throat> this is how you have those predefined uh uh, buckets of items that you can receive from opening a given chest. Now, there is one extra category of chest in the Helltide zones which are not depicted on the map. And those are called the mystery, mysterious chests, or I think in-game they are actually called mystery chests. Uh, I have uh, the map from d4builds.gg open right now. I will put the link in the video description so you can easily find it there. And if we filter for mysterious chests here, we can see on the map that uh, there are uh, not a lot, but certainly everywhere, uh, some of these mysterious chest locations. And um, what these chests do is they cost a little bit more than the most expensive regular chest, which sits at 150, uh, I believe. And these mysterious chests cost 175 uh, to open. However, the stuff you will get from them is not predetermined in slots as with the other chests, so it can be anything. But uh, the amount of things you get and the quality of things you get is usually a lot and pretty good. Since you cannot see the location of these chests in the in-game map, you will have to use a third-party tool like this uh, external map uh, here, for example, or there are also posts on Reddit where you can find uh, copies of the map and so on and so forth. You will easily find it in the internet. But I uh, wanted to show you that this is possible and I first heard about this from a friend of mine. Um, next, I will show you what is actually inside these chests because in my stream uh, yesterday before recording this video, I went out and actually hunted down one of these chests and opened it. So let's dive into it and see what we got. All right, let's see what this uh, tortured gift of mysteries uh, loot box gives us. 175 cinders. Three sacred legendaries, two sacred rares, and a bunch of elixirs, two fiend roses, and two forgotten so four forgotten swords. Sheesh! Not bad. Okay, let's check out how the loot looks like. All right, so as you saw, the rewards you get from opening these chests is uh, quite substantial. You get rare uh, crafting materials, you get good potions, you get uh, rare items. So it's definitely worth checking them out. Uh, out. Keep one thing in mind, if you die in the Helltide, 
you will lose 50% of the currency that you had at the time of dying. So if you had 150, you die. After your death, you will only have 75 remaining. So make sure that you do not die while farming this. Uh, one hour of farming time is not a lot of time, especially if you want to get to 175 and even more so if you want to open multiple of these uh, chests. So be careful about what you do and um, good luck with your farming and good luck with your chest. See you next time. Bye bye.